Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community and welcome to another hacking episode of Hacker Associate. In this particular section, we are going to learn about indicator of compromise and indicator of an attack. So, what do you mean by this two terminology, right? What do you mean by the indicator of attack and what's the difference between these two? Indicator of attack and indicator of compromise. So I'll just okay, like quickly recap okay everything and I'll give you okay, like short terminology so you'll get an idea okay I'll just give you overview of this indicator of compromise and indicator of an attack. So indicator of attack basically focus on detecting the intent of what an attacker is trying to accomplish regardless of an malware or expert used in the attack. Indicator of compromise means the system is already attacked and now okay, you are investigating or maybe you are preparing okay for the future purpose based on the indicators. This is called indicator of compromise. So IP is the indicator of compromise, your domain, URL. This we can say is called indicator of compromise as we learned okay, in our last section. So indicator of compromise is often described in the forensic world as an evidence on a computer that indicates the security of the network has been breached. Investigator usually gather this data after being informed of a suspicious incident on a scheduled basis or after the discovery of unusual call outs from the network. Ideally, this information is gathered to create a smarter tool that can detect and quarantine suspicious file in the future as we know already. Right? So I want to show you this example basically you see these are the phases basically right this is how the attacker perform the attack and this exactly we call as an indicator of attack. Okay, so first let's understand about the phases and this phase we will going to discuss okay, in our coming section in a very detailed manner. So first we were like reconnaissance, then we were weaponization, delivery, exploitation, installation, command and control and lateral movement. So first attacker collect the information, they will prepare it, okay, and they will try to deliver, okay, maybe n number of method and then they are going to exploit it and then they are going to install, okay, some kind of, okay, like backdoor, okay, in your system and then they will try to communicate via the same backdoor, basically command and control and then they will try to further expand okay their nature of an attack okay example let's say like right now you are inside the one machine and from the one machine okay you are going to enumerate other bunch of other machines right with other ip address or other subnet and they are going to attack it this is basically we call it a lateral movement okay privilege escalation everything will come here after this so io are concerned with the execution of this step which step these are the step down below and the intent of an adversary and the outcomes he is trying to achieve. This is basically I am talking about. This is called IOA, indicator of an attack. An indicator of attack is a live thing. An indicator of compromise is already the system compromised and we are detecting. Okay, this is the meaning. So let's compare okay IOA to the IUC. So when you talk about IUC, we have a malware, signature, exploit, vulnerability, IP addresses. So reactive indicator of compromise and proactive indicator of an attack. Okay. So IOA means what? Indicator of attack. So code execution, persistent, still, command and control, lateral movement. These are the phases basically we call as an IOA, indicator of an attack. Perfect, right? Okay. So IOA are the real time recorder. Okay. So you can see IOC, point in time versus real time. And as I mentioned to you, IOA generally talking about real time part. And IOC we are talking about point in time. Okay. So point in time versus real time. This is the meaning. So a byproduct of an IOA approach is the ability to collect and analyze exactly what is happening on the network in the real time. This I am talking about is called IOA. The very nature of observing the behavior as they execute is equivalent to observing a video camera and accessing a flight data recorder within your environment. So returning to the physical world when detective arrive on a crime scene and has a gun, body and some blood. They usually ask to see if anyone has any video of what transpired the blood, the body and the gun are IOC. You understand? What is the difference between IOC and IOA? The blood, the body and the gun are IOC, indicator of compromise. They need to be manually reconstructed and these are basically we can say called point in time artifacts. And very simple put, IOA provide content for the video logs. So in the cyber realm, uh, showing you how an adversary slipped into your environment, access file, dump password, move laterally and eventually exfiltrated your data is the power of an IOA. So just remember okay only two things one is 
IOA is a live thing, okay, like code execution, persistent, still command and control, lateral movement and IOC means system is already compromised and now we are analyzing or maybe we are preparing for the future purpose, we will go to the uh, some platform, apply our like knowledge there and then check, check for the threat intelligence, okay, data and based on the data we try to protect our system or based on the data we are going to hunt, okay, in our environment. Scenario may be completely different, depend upon your case, like how you going to implement this thing of in your enterprise okay this is just an example we need to understand first theoretically properly so this then we can start lot of hands on okay on this right perfect that's all for this section i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching the video have a great day see you soon in the next episode